Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling and welcome to part two of our Ravel VW T2 camper build. So let's get straight into it. Um, first of all, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It costs nothing to subscribe. When you do hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified when the videos come out so you don't miss anything. Um, also, if you haven't seen this, you can go back and watch part one. You can also go back to the playlist and watch the unboxing of the whole thing. Um, also, of course, comments are welcome. You're welcome to comment below. And um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. That all goes and helps the algorithms for YouTube so this can get out to more people to view. All right, let's go. We're on to step six now. In the last video, we completed the, the engine bay and we've painted and we've done the paint job or the undercarriage here in a nice um, flat black. And now we're up to the part where we've got to do some of the um, undercarriage, uh, the brakes and axles and, and so forth. So step six is we need sprue A, which you'll know I've already painted all these black. And we need piece number 11 which will be this one down here. Nip that off. This. Two. There it is. I'll get the pieces off first. Um, and then we need uh, number 12 and 10. So we want to keep these the right way around or it's not going to matter. Think we'll be right okay so we take this off here here and that one's number 12 i'll put there number 10 I'm gonna go here and uh what do we need to do with this is just uh join them together, it looks like. Yep, put that aside. Right. Change my glasses over. <laughs> to my magnifying ones. All right, so there's an extra piece there that needs to be trimmed off. That's not there, that's part of the uh, plastic sprue. Same on that one there. All right, so number, uh, we have already got it mixed up already. <laughs> it's okay. Can't go wrong here. So that's going to go into there like that. Now, as you'll know, this is uh, no glue on this model. It's all just connects. I think that's a piece of sprue in the center there, so that can come off. Yeah, it's off. And then we'll put this one on here. And it'll go yep, like that. No, it won't. It'll go. <laughs> I need to pay attention. Pay attention. It's gonna go that. I think I had it right in the first place. It's just the angle looked wrong. Yeah. Okay, so that's those like that. And uh, that's a bit put aside. Now, we need to do bin. Um, that's it, step six. Step seven is piece A13. Move that over. A13 is this. No, that's A14. We want A13. This one. Right, cut that one off. Okay. Go off in there. Oh, yeah. 
and now this needs to connect to this and make sure you do this the right way around pretty sure it's like that and this one's gonna go like that and that looks like that will go all right let's see how that fits there that one on there looks good to me yep those wheels will work Okay, yep, so they're going to turn, as you can see, and then we need to put it down onto here. So finally we get to turn this over, and we look at it, this end, and... Okay. Turn it around the right way. Looks like that's going to go in there. Put that in there, and it's all falling apart. <laughs> okay, that's. Let's try and put this in separately. So we'll put this on first. This will go something like this. Ah. Again, it would help if I do things the right way around. It's going to go in there. That one's going to go in there. All right, and this will go, yes it will, okay good, I'll just make sure that's pressed in properly, that sounds better, good, and this part of the chassis on top of there just like that I think sounds good sounds good Yes, that's in. And that's in. Everything's pressed in. Do these still turn? Yes, they do. Good. We'll leave the wheels straight for now. All right. Okay, good. That's good. Um, now we're on to... M106. What piece was that? Uh, M. Alright. Here it is here. M106. There it is. And it's the, uh, it's like the exhaust. Oh no, this is like a water container. And this should be C. Um, which is silver, and I painted it black. I noticed that before, I just need to double check. It's, uh, C is silver metallic, yes. So that's fine, what I'll do is I'll, I'll take this off, and then I'll go paint it silver. Six, like that. That'll be fine. I'll just check the rest here. There's another piece. Uh, 
suppose that needs to be silver as well. No, or well, maybe we're not up to that yet, so that's okay. All right, so I'll go paint this silver. Then there's also some stickers or decals to go on that too. Number nine and ten. So we'll see what nine and ten look like. Um, nine is oh, there's a brand name there, and then a tiny little. Nine and ten. Wow, that is small. <laughs> and one thing I noticed too, putting the decals on the batteries, it's not always clear exactly where they're pointing at. They have an arrow pointing to the location, but then you find that the location is behind on the back. Um, for example, there was one here that. Uh, it had, uh, which one was it? Um, yeah, sticker four, a decal four going around the back, and it looks like it's pointing onto the back of the coil sitting on top there, which it's, but it's not. It's actually pointing onto the back of the plastic piece that it's sitting on. Because when you go and try and put it there, you realize, well, hang on, that doesn't fit. It's too big. And you realize that they're pointing to the back of this, not that. So, yeah, double check if you're building this, um, your decal locations. Because I'm just looking at that one at just how tiny that is. I mean, you can barely see it there. You probably can't at all. And it's saying that it goes on the side of the um, muffler there. Um, I go to the instructions, see. It's pointing just onto the side there which is strange, you would think it would more likely go on the end. But anyway, I need to paint it first before I need to put decal on there. Um, and then I'm looking ahead at step eight. And we've got A16, just check that one. Piece A16 is... Um, a16 is hard to find. <laughs> Have I already taken it off and painted it? No. It must be on here somewhere. There it is there. Uh, another thing with the numbers on the sprues too, I noticed is that, um, you know, you could have, say, there's piece um, 49, which is there, which is next to piece 21, 20, and 5, and 13, and there's your 49. You know, or pieces, uh, what do we got? 7, which I've already used, up near pieces 51, 47, 46. So, yeah, you, you, it's easy enough to find the sprue, but a bit tricky when you've got to find the actual piece on the sprue. So, all right. Where was I? Um, that piece will be fine. That will go on uh, the other end here. We're going to start doing the other end of the undercarriage. So, well, I think we'll go ahead and do that. That can wait. Paint that afterwards. So let's take this piece off. This is a uh, 16. There it is. Take this off. and okay that will go over the top of okay so there's an order to put these in so we'll next we'll take off a 14 which is all of this Let's get that up there this is a 14 here Two, three, fourteen. Okay. Yeah, so A14 goes on first. Um, got to remember to follow the order of 
processing. So this is step eight. All right, and they're pointing to seven, which is that, which is this we haven't painted yet. So it gives you a location. So we're going to be putting, that's where the bit that needs painting goes. And we're going to work on here. So this chassis, this section here goes on number one. That goes down first. Number two will be the cover, which we have over here, with the muffler on it. So we'll put that there. And then we need that piece we just took off. And that'll be step three. And that will complete step eight. All right. So do that. Uh -huh. This should fit like that. Goes in there, goes in there. Push them in. Oh, I don't know if they're tighter than normal because I've painted them. Probably are. Just gonna have to be a bit careful. Yep, make sure everything is pressed down as much as it needs to be without breaking anything. That looks good. I think that looks good. Yep, and those bits on the front can go in further. Yeah, otherwise we're not going to have this fitting properly, will we? I think that could go in just a little bit further. Yeah. One more. You can hear these little clicks. And that's not it going in place, that's just it sliding into the location points. But that, that's it. That's on. Good. All right. Number two is this piece. So this has to be lowered down over the top of there. And we have going uh, like that. I'm guessing, yep. Holes for them, yep. <laughs> Creaking in. I think that's in enough. There's something holding that up a bit there, I don't know. I think that needs to press in the center there. Yep. It's getting there. A little bit more in the center. That was it then, I think. Yep. All right, that's on. And now we need this cross member piece. And it sits over the top like this. And I'm assuming it's in that point there and there. Yeah. Get that to go in. 
obviously another tight fit. Oh, oh. Careful. Try to turn it the other way around. Come on, you can do it. Get in there. That's it. Certainly doesn't want to go in at that end. Uh, I might have to just trim these little connection points a little bit. Because I don't want to force it, although that went in then. It's okay, I think we got it now. Yep, it is, it's the paint. Well, it ain't going to fall apart in a hurry, is it? <laughs> There we go. It's like a bit of a sway bar or something across there. So that's uh, done, but there's a decal now. Decal number three goes on top of here. What's three look like? Nah. Well, it's decal, so it won't be there. Because they're the stickers. Three is that. Okay, yeah, that's like a the little plate that sits underneath. So that's good. All right. The decal. Actually, I'll, I'll do this off camera. I'll be back in a second. I'll get that decal on there and we'll continue. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. It didn't take long. Put the decal on there. I don't know if you can see it right in the center there. Um, so that's that's done. Um, while I was away, I also quickly sprayed that black one that goes on the side here. Just literally sprayed it just then. So I'm going to give this time to dry before I put it on. But that's okay because that finishes step seven then. And then we go on to oh, step eight. That was step eight done. Um, there are some decals to go on that, but we'll wait until that's dry. Um, then we go to step nine. Well, step nine, we did that in part one of the series where we put all the wheels together and bump the camera. But there they are all in there. So there we go, saved myself some time there. It's all done. Um, and then we turn over and we can put the wheels on under here. So yeah, why not? Let's do that. That little muffler can still go on afterwards. That's fine. Uh, yeah. No particular order. There's no front or rear tires or left and right. They just got to slide on there. So let's do that. Okay. So there we go. There's some rims. And it just pushes on there, apparently. Click and they turn. Bonus. Okay, get this one on here. There it is. I just noticed that hubcap's coming off on that one. Maybe I did something wrong then trying to put that on. Just take that one back off and check. I'm pretty sure it's, it's okay. Oh yes, I think I just pushed it through a bit much. There we go, that's on now. In fact, may even glue those hubcaps on just to be sure that they're not, they're not going to be a problem. I don't want them falling off. 
that one's on. And this one here. You're going to go on for me easy? Yes. Oh, there you go. See what I mean? Upcat came off that one. Okay. Yeah. I would say, yeah, I'd be inclined to glue those. But there they go. There we go. There's our wheels on. Tires are on. Okay. Looking good. All right. So now we're moving on to doing some furniture. So I guess we can set that aside now. That, that rolls along beautifully. Great. All right, I'll, I'll put that aside where that's going to be safe for a bit. And um, now, step 11, putting these cupboards together. Now, some of these I've already done before I painted them, just to make it easier. And all I've done is the um, uh, Mr. Surfacer black. So they still have to be coloured the actual color I want them. Now we've got NATO brown, which is the one I think I've picked that I like. I think we'll do them that color. So these will have to be painted. Um, so let's see what we've got. So we've got, uh, where are we? We've got this. So that's one part of the cabinet. This will be the other part here. And that will simply go on top. Clip together. Like that. Yep. That's looking good. Seems to be a, quite a gap there. But I don't think that would be noticeable for where it's going to be located. That's going to sit like that. Now that's fine. I may paint that like it is. Although I've got to get the paint to go in there. Um, so, yeah. Let's take that apart and paint it. Okay. Put that back on there. That one on there. And put that on there. All right, so that needs painting. Um, then we've got this one. In step 12. Which needs decals as well. But of course, we've still got to paint it. Um, it's got that piece on there. That's in place. That's a bit of a different color, that. So this is where I was looking at doing a separate brown. Um, I'll just go and check. I thought I'd put one aside that I was going to use. This was the NATO. The other one might have been a deck tan or something a little bit lighter. Uh... Yeah, let me just check that. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've decided to go with the whole red. That's what I wanted to do it. The whole red. You can see the difference. And that will be the difference between this and this. It's also the colour I wanted to do the, the seats. So that will all match in as well. All right. I guess I've got some painting to do. Uh... Yeah, uh, that one, that piece there will come back off. So I put on there. And that will get painted the whole red. Uh, along with another one there, 110, I'll look for that piece. Here's the other part here. This includes the refrigerator. And um, this will also be done in the... NATO brown that I like 
with the rest of the furniture. Um, this refrigerator door here is saying they want that silver. So I might have to mask up a little bit and, and get that painted up silver. I thought there was a decal. Yeah, there is a decal to go on the front of that too. So we'll see how much that space that takes up. I'm pretty sure it covers most of the front of that door, of that fridge. Okay. All right. Um, I thought I sort of know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've just noticed too that there's uh, piece number 0110. Um, ah, here we go. O this is sprue O and number 110 is that one there which is also the darker deck color I'm going to do. So I'll take that piece off. Yep, and, and color that. Then there's also a, piece, a side of the, um, where is it? This for the interior. That whole section there, they've got as brown as well which would be the whole red color. You can see it. See how they've got that here and you can see it here. So again, I'll mask that up and probably going to have to paint that on. Although in front of that is all these cupboards. So I might just, just leave that. Um, I think that'll all be covered up by the cupboards and the refrigerator. Because uh, if you look, this for example, uh, that's going to sit pretty much in there and cover that completely, and then the other one's in there. So yeah, there's no point in painting that. All right, progressing. Okay, guys, I won't talk anymore. I'll get this stuff painted, and we'll come back. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, welcome back, guys. So I've painted these up. Look at how nice they come up. Look at that. Let's see. Yeah, it looks much better than just the plain plastic color. Um, and that was with one color. This was with the whole red. So there's a slight difference you can see there. In color, I hope, in the camera. Yes, yeah, it's slightly darker. So that's going to give it a bit more character and a bit of a difference. So these are uh, painted not long ago. They're probably okay to work on. Um, it's just a matter of putting them together and then we've got to put some decals on or stickers. We have the choice again. So I think we can at least put um, the first cupboard together, which is this one and this one. So let me move these out of the way for a second. So there, all right, so for these, let's see, that's going to go like that and that, yeah. Wondering why that doesn't seem to fit so well. Oh, that's okay, that's in. Yeah. Well, there's that one. Definitely looks nicer than the plastic, doesn't it? All right, so that's that one done. There's no decals to go on that. That's step 11 here. So that's fine. Step 12 is this larger piece here. So what we'll do is we'll take that off. I'll cut this piece off here. Fine. Uh, and we need to put this piece on, which was the darker color, which is over here. That's going to go on there. Move all these clips out of the way. These are really handy too. Um, Again, another icky, sticky product. 
definitely worth uh, checking out the website. There's a whole lot of new stuff coming in too. Huge range. All right, so this pretty much just goes straight on to here. And, uh, let's pop that in. So I say, and it's going to be awkward. No, it's okay. Make sure that is facing the same orientation, yes. Yep, felt that go in. There we go. That's that's that. Now the decals for this or stickers are number eighteen and eighteen. So let's have a look which way we're going to go with this. Number 18 is just that tiny little black piece there. Um, so that'll be 18. Where's that going to go? Under there. Strange place for it. Okay. So it's supposed to probably show us a hole or something under there. And the other one is decal 39, which will go on this side here. 39 is, well, it's much bigger. That's this piece here. So that's probably that's going to look best as a sticker. The decal version is 39. Hang on, I'm looking at the wrong number. 39, not 36. Right, it is. It's 39, 39. So I'm not sure which way I would... Not much difference at all, really. Um, the decal does seem to have a little bit more detail in the black. Barely noticeable. So I think I'm going to go the sticker. Yeah, we'll go the sticker on this. And, uh, yeah. Let me check. But now the problem with stickers is that it's going to be tricky to position. Because once you put it on, that's where it's going to stay. So for that reason, I might go the decal. Now that sticker number 18 there, I'm happy to use that to go underneath where they say that goes. It's a shame that they don't show, like you go from step 12 and then go to the same piece looking at it being positioned in here in step 14, but it doesn't have pictures of the decals on there. Um, yeah, so it's really quite difficult to see exactly where this black one's going to go. Um, I'm also noticing that there's more decals to go on on this one um, as you're fitting it. So why are they not telling you to fit those decals while it's here and do the whole thing at once? I don't know, because number 16 is this one here. So that one's got to go on. Um, and it goes on here somewhere. And then there's 16A. Well, that's interesting, because I don't remember, a, I don't see a 16A anywhere. And there's a decal number 16. Oh, hang on. I'm looking at the wrong thing. So there's 16 and 16A. Okay. Oh, I see. Right, so the decal's one piece. Yeah, number 16 is, is all that in one piece, whereas the sticker is two separate ones. So now I'm sort of thinking, well, maybe I'll go the decals. Yeah, I will go the decals. Let me just check number 18. Yeah, I think 18 in the decal is probably better to yeah, sort it. Okay, look, I'm going to put these decals on and we'll come back and have a look at that piece. Um, I may also do the decals on this as well. That's with our um, 
cupboards and uh, refrigerator there. So there's a few decals to go on this as well. So I'll do these and um, we'll come back and have a look before I actually fit them. Okay. All right. I know I'm saying I'm coming back, but uh, you'll, you'll see me putting them on. All right. <laughs> okay. Back shortly. Okay. Back again. And now I've got the decals on. So if you can see there, there's little decals in there there's this one on here one spot in there it's done this one here had uh, just actually it's only one decal which is the door of the um, fridge there and this one had a decal for the drain pipe underneath but I ended up just painting it silver along with the handles on the doors and cupboards I did them all in silver all I did was that is used a silver marker pen and they've come up really nice. I've still got to do this handle on this door here just to match. So, yeah, that's all good. I'm just letting that all dry before I touch it. This is the seat in the back. And we've got the decal on there for that. Um, that was a bit tricky. <laughs> um, it started to fall apart along here. I'm using Mark Fit to soften it, but I guess it was softening it too much. Because it's trying, I'm trying to bend it around properly like it should be. Um, but it turns out okay, it's on there. I'm just going to let that sit probably, um, yeah, for a while. <laughs> we'll see. I'll give that another hour uh, to set a little bit better before I try to put it on um, inside the uh, frame of the van, which is here. So that's where that's going to sit here. This little cupboard will sit on here. We've got this section sits in here, I think. Uh, no, that sits across here. And the oven, well, I keep can't calling it an oven. The fridge will sit in here. Okay, so I'm just going to wait, let that settle so I can push that down safely, knowing that that decal is not going to fall apart if I touch it. And uh, we'll come back and then we'll put it all in and see how it looks. Um, yeah, and that completes everything up onto uh, step 14. We'll turn the page. I just had a quick look then and we're doing the seats. Okay, I'm back in a second. Okay, back again. Now I've painted the chairs, uh, the two seats, drivers and passengers seat. Tell me what you think. I reckon they look fantastic. Look at that. So that's the um, the darker brown I use. That's the uh, hull red with just a touch more of Tamiya red in it to give it a, a, a bit of a brighter look. What do you think? I think that come up really nice. They both, there they are there. And that black gives that like shadow effect and really makes them look like, like they look like you could just sit in there. They look like the the leather or vinyl, probably vinyl, is exactly what it is, ready to sit on. So I've just painted them, so I'm going to leave them for a while. There's the backs of them that have done as well. I'll put them on after. But uh, yeah, beautiful, nice looking, comfortable chairs. <laughs> so... Um, Okay, I'll, I'll put these aside, let them dry. We'll grab our furniture here. We'll grab this and I'll go get the um, cushion that's got the decal on it. That should be fine now. And we'll put these in. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, we're back and rock and rolling. So, we've uh, decals dry pretty safe to put that on and furniture's ready to go in so um, let's see we're up to step 12 is done decals are on we're up to right so number one is to put in this cupboard and it's going to go in here like this That. 
Yeah. I'm not used to doing this without glue. That's going on now. Good. Um, and then in this step, we've got to put this one on now. This is the one I was concerned about. I did test fit it before we put the decal on, so I know it should be okay. Oh, now also the toothpick. So what I do for things like this is um, I super glue a toothpick to it, right? Because it gives me something to hold that I know is going to stay in place. And uh, when I'm ready to use it like I am now, just cut it off and we're good to go. Okay, so let me get this one on. Line up those holes. Looks good. That's in. That's in. And that sounds like that's in. And that's in. All right. Um, now we're at... Uh, Step 14, so we've just gone from doing all this to 13, putting those in, down to step 14. Now we do this in the order, so the first one is this big one here, which has to go in there. I think we can do this properly. Let's slide down in there. Yep. Hmm. Okay. That one's going to go in there like that. That's in. And that's in. All right, that's good. Then we need to put uh, our other piece here. It needs to sit in there. Just double checking that we've got everything done. Everything's painted up properly. All right. Just need to push that in there. Gonna be good to me. Yep. Sure is. That's in. All right, let's have a close look. There it is. Okay. Very happy with that. So. Let's turn the page. And step 15 is the seats, which I showed you earlier, painted up. I think they're dry enough to be able to push the backs into them now. So let's try this out. Okay, so this is seat uh, 115, we want 113 first, 113, I wrote them on the back here so I'd remember, um, what I didn't do is they're, they're different, there's 114 and 116 in these and I did get them mixed up so I don't know what's what, but I'm sort of hoping that pretty it'll be pretty obvious as I'm trying to fit them um, which ones they belong to so let's try this add to there okay so straight away I know that's not going to go on there let's try this one 
that looks better. Good. Don't really need to put that in there like that. Press that in. Okay. One seat done. And this is number 115, and I need to remember if there's a, which one's the passenger seat, which one's the driver's seat. And going by this, uh, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, yes, 15 and 16. So number 15, which is the one I'm doing now, will be on that side. It's just that when I cover these, I won't be able to see them anymore. So the numbers, 15, that in there, that in there. Let's do this there and there. Good. That's 115, which will go over on here. And sit in there okay let's see and this is the next step so 16 step 16 and that simply goes in there whilst that goes in there is that it that's it It doesn't sit in there very... Oh, I see. It'll be pressed in there. Okay. Looks like I might need some glue on that. Let's see if this seat fits any tighter. No, they both sit there quite loosely. Um, but they're a nice, nice fit, that's for sure. No problem there. So if I glue them in, make sure there's no reason for me to have to take them out again. Ah, that's good. All right. Clips aside to be used later. All right. Okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll glue them in. Uh, just a little bit of glue on the back in fact probably best to just touch the glue in under there yeah i'm just thinking you know maybe it would be better if i had left myself access to work around the dash but it looks like all the dashboard area is going to be done before it goes in I'll just check ahead in the instructions to see there's any reason why their seats might be in the way? I don't think so. They look all right. All good. And yeah, no, they're fine. And yeah, safe to glue them in. So to do that, I'll just use some uh, some of the icky sticky um, medium. Just put a dab there. That'll be fine. That. Turn it in there like that. And then we'll do the same on this side. Just make sure they're sitting properly. That looks good. Sorry, I'm going to sort my camera skills out a bit. And 
do this properly. Yep, that's it. Yep, that's it. I'll glue that in there. All right, let that dry for a few minutes. Let's see where we're at now. So that's done. And we're doing, this looks like the um, tabletop. There's a little fold out table that's got to go in the back. So that's something we can work on. So we got M122 wonder where that piece is going to be. That's screw M. Uh, that's not it, that's A. Sort of just hope it's something I've already painted, that'd be handy. Which it is. There's M, there it is, there's our piece. And, uh, yep, yeah, that's good. So we'll need that. Now this needs to be silver. I know that I've painted these black. But they need to be silver and so do these. So I just got to check ahead in the instructions. These are the supports for the fold up roof. Which I think are also silver. In fact they are. They are. So I'm going to paint those silver before I take them off the sprue. I think I'll, yeah, I'll paint those. And then we've got um, piece 0121, which I think is, uh, where are we? Sprue 0. So there's 121 there. And it goes on 120. Uh, Q120, which is a different... Where is Q? Uh, got here A. No, oh, that's probably it there. Yep, one twenty. All right. So these need to be painted as well. So that's got to be silver. This needs to be painted as well. We've got a undercoat that first that's the top of the fold out table all right and then we've got 0117 <coughs> excuse me uh, that's one I've already taken off and already painted there so that's those two um, 117 119 they're all ready to go which is good so that one needs to be done the tan same color as these cupboards whilst uh, the seat parts already painted up which was our hull color get that right all right, I'll sort things out here. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. I've got a few things sorted out here. So what we got is, this is the top of the um, dining table that swings out in the back. And I'm going to do it in this color. And this is a yellow green. I think that will match well with the, the seat covers. So I'm going to paint the top of that, that and then I'll do the outline around it black. Um, this part here goes underneath it, so I'll do it the same colour. That's prepared there. Then we've got the um, brake and accelerator and clutch 
to go in. Let's put those separate in the container there. On here, we've got to paint all these silver, so I'll, I'll spray them silver. And this is the rear seat, um, which I don't need to paint because the decal covers this in the um, material effect. So, yeah, that'll go over the top of that. So there's, there's no need to paint that. Um, although, yeah, no, that, that'll be fine. That'll all be covered. So that's there for that. Um, what else is there? That's it. And then it'll all go down uh, in the back. So what I'll do is I'll paint these. It's now late at night. It's 7 o'clock at night. So I'll get them painted. They'll dry overnight and we'll come back tomorrow and fit them. All right. Okay. Back, back shortly to you. I'll be back tomorrow morning. Hello, back again. It's the next morning. Um, I've um, sprayed these uh, parts silver, including the support for the table that's going in the back. So that's all done and dry. I sprayed these earlier this morning. So that's the table top. And then there's this little piece that sits underneath. So that's all done. And then what I've done here is I've put these seats in. And I think I mentioned that I didn't bother painting because they're going to get covered in these fabric decals here. Those two there. That'll cover all of that. Um, so, yeah, what I'll do first is I'll put the decals on now. I'll get that part done. And then um, we'll, we'll have a look and we'll see if we can get this uh, table to sit in there. Um, once we've done that, uh, that completes all the way up to step 19. So that'll be step 18, step 19, and step 20. And then we'll go on to doing the, um, the dashboard, which is going to require a lot of decals, but I think it's going to look really, really good. All right, so um, I'll get these on. They're a little bit fiddly, so we'll have a look when they're on, and then you can watch me um, get this table set up in there. Okay, I'll back in a sec. Okay, back, I just thought I'd show you this decal going on. I put one on there, on the back of the seat. You can see that. It's just drying now. Here I put some mark fit down on the surface. It's just lifting off the decal now, so if I grab this, drain some of the water off. Okay, and now we need to just lay it on here, which put a bit of water on my finger. Oh, there's somebody at the door right at the wrong time, eh? <laughs> okay, they're going to have to wait because I'm not expecting anyone. Let me check. Hello? Yeah, I'll be there in a sec. Thanks, man. Okay, there is a package. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so turns out it was a package for me. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. Like, I did my grocery shopping the other day, and I ordered a pair of tongs, just a pair of tongs like this. <laughs> and because they use partner businesses with the supermarket it's it comes separately they use australia post to send it i didn't know all this at the time i wasn't pretty impressed i got my groceries and i was wondering where the tongs were i ordered oh it's getting delivered i found out when i run them so there it was mind you they're only that long look at the box look at the box they put it in <laughs> Quick look. There you go. Filled it with paper. Giant box. For a pair of tongs. What a waste of packaging. Anyway, <laughs> back on subject. So that's gone on okay. Now, some of the decal on the edge here, 
I've noticed this with these steckles, these larger pieces anyway, they start to get really brittle and they start, uh, yeah, not going on so well. So you've got to be really, really gentle with them. Now, there's a little bit in the corner there that didn't go down too well, where it actually split. But fortunately, the table we're going to build next uh, goes over there, so that'll be completely hidden. All right. Um, yeah, so that's that one. The back of this one is done. It's almost, well, it's not quite dry, but when it is, I'll do the other side. And I'll probably put it on and do it while it's on there and lay it over so I don't have to handle it again but anyway that one went on fine just dry it off a little bit gently it's all good all right I'll be back in a sec okay so I got the second one on that went on a lot easier it was pretty easy just to fold it over and put it there but even then tore over on the corner so maybe you let me know in the comments why some decals are like that i mean it just tears like tissue paper um and that was before i used any mark fit on it all i used was water it floated off the backing paper laid it over here rolled it over the top and straight up one of the corners ripped very brittle is the word i would use for it is it the brand? Is it, you know, am I going to have that problem with all the decals? Because if I am, I might have to stick to uh, using stickers where I can. Problem with them is you can't position them as easily. Um, but they're the largest decals that will be used, so I guess that might be a bit easier. Um, and that might be the reason why they were um, breaking. But anyway... That's on. I'm going to leave that for a while now, make sure they dry completely. And in the meantime, um, I'm just going to clip this off, off our sprue here. And this is for the table. I'll just make sure I get the right spots, these, because they have a little area there that shouldn't be cut off. So that's going to go like this. That just gonna check picture. Yep, that looks good. Cut that there. Get another extra bit there. Come off. That's it. So that's our table support. Put that away. And then we've got our table, which is um, again. I'll leave them to dry. So we will come back a sec. I'll give it another half hour. Okay. Hey, welcome back everyone. So if I told you I've got the seat coverings on and we've got the table now. Just a matter of sticking the pole in the bottom of the table. Uh, painted it all up. It's come up a nice uh, nice looking green. Now we just gotta mount this in here, which goes in the hole in the floor there like that and then there's a hole up on the cabinet it also goes into and that's it there's our table end let's look at that there you go looking pretty good eh all right so now that brings us so piece of plastic um to the end of step 19 we're moving over to the dashboard uh, a bit of work to do there we've got the steering wheel steering column brake accelerator clutch and lots of decals and it's all going to be in part three you'll have to come back and see that one all right so i uh, hope you like what we've done so far and uh, it's come up really good I'm really impressed, really happy, especially those seats that came up really nice. And, uh, yeah, she's all right. So um, thanks, guys, for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. 
hit that notifications bell so you get notified the videos that come out give us a thumbs up so youtube spread the spread the algorithm and get this out to more people and uh give us a comment below what do you think what do you think of it so far um yeah i'm happy so let us know what you think in the comments below all right guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in part what will that be part three that was part two okay bye for now cheers <laughs>